Thank you very much. Thank you all very, very much. Now, we're not making any assumptions about Iran's future policies because we base our approach on observable facts. And what we see, obviously, is that Iran continues to engage in uh, playing to sectarian divisions in the region, and it continues to detain several American citizens in our estimation without justification for welcoming me to your new home, but thank you for firm and creative leadership on both sides is absolutely essential. A two-state solution with strong security protections remains the only viable alternative. And for anybody who thinks otherwise, you can measure what unitary looks like by just looking at what's been going on in the last weeks. It's the challenge that we face in Syria today is nothing less than to chart a course out of hell. And to do that, we have to employ a two-pronged approach, intensifying our counter-dash campaign and, on the other side, our diplomatic efforts to try to bring the conflict to a close. We have to eliminate the mindset, which was encouraged from the beginning by both Assad and Daesh, that the only choice Syrians have is between the two of them. You either have terrorists or you have Assad. No, no, that's not the choice. This is a mindset that drives those who fear the terrorists to side with the dictator, and those who fear the dictator to side with the terrorists. And I will head back to Vienna tonight to take the next step in our discussions with representatives from an ever-broadening group of nations, including Iran, which will join one of these multilateral gatherings for the first time. The best opportunity we have is to try to come to the table and recognize there has to be the political solution that everybody has talked about. As part of this diplomacy, I've had many conversations with my Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, and as everyone here knows, Russian airstrikes in Syria began about four weeks ago. So there's a fundamental choice here. Is Russia there just to shore up Assad? Or is Russia there to actually help bring about a solution? Surely, we can find a place where one man does not stand in the way of the possibilities of peace. So we agree that all of these steps can only be achieved and Syria can only be saved through a political settlement.